Hi, Judy from Witch Pierce Craft. Welcome to everyone, especially those new subscribers who have joined me this week. There have been a few. I hope you stick around and enjoy the content and you find something to inspire you. I really appreciate you subscribing and joining me in my yarn adventures. I mainly talk about crochet, knitting, traveling, buying yarn and a bit of life stuff around home, but not a lot. So I hope you do enjoy the content. So this week's video, I have deviated from trying to finish my whips. I took a week off to try something new. I have a lot of, well, not a lot, but I have a bit of blanket yarn and velvet yarn and chenille type yarn and plushy yarn in my yarn stock. And as you know, I'm trying to reduce my yarn stock. So I thought I would try some of it out on amigurumis. So let's get started on what I made this week using this type of yarn. I have to refer to note because there are four items and that's one of the things I noticed. It does craft up really quickly. Now I have watched some videos of different no so patterns listed, um, how they say that you can make this in 10 minutes. But to be perfectly honest, some of the things they show, it's really hard to see the actual character in there. Some of them just like look like blobs with bumps. They're not really, um, I guess, hitting my imagination to see the frog or the dinosaur in it. It just doesn't do it for me. But there is one particular channel I've probably been watching for about six months now when she does a review, like she did all the axolotl patterns. She's done Oxo, Octo, sorry, and I really enjoy hers. And I have taken a lot of recommendations from that channel and it's called Yarn and Whimsy. So all the channels I mention, any patterns, tutorials will be listed in the description box below if you want to check them out for yourself and have a go. So first off the rank is Da -da. He is called the Snuggle Slug. And to make him, I used Velvet Lux. This is a gift from a subscriber that was in my yarn stock. It's a 150 gram ball. There's 225 meters in the ball. And I have used 50 grams of this in the Snuggle Slug. Now this is a tutorial on YouTube you can check out. Um, recommended by Yarn and Whimsy. You also need a bit of um, full weight yarn to finish it off. So here he is, my snuggle slug. So this is the velvet yarn and this is Spotlight um, USA style, which is like Red Heart to finish him off. It is a great tutorial and a no sew pattern, which I love. And he is quite snuggly. I think a little person would really like this. It's very soft yarn. Now, what did I use? I used a four millimeter crochet hook to get it really firm so the stuffing wouldn't come out of it. It took quite a bit of fiber fill and there's nothing in the base because he is really like a little snuggle pillow slug. So that is my first amigurumi I made with some velvet yarn. Look, I did experiment and try to frog it it does frog but it strips the velvet off the yarn in patches you'll get like velvet string velvet string so it's not ideal to um frog so if you're going to use the lion brand velvet Lux, make sure it's an easy pattern or you know it off by heart and you know you're not going to need to frog because it's not the greatest would i buy this yarn no it's not me. It was easy enough to work with, but it's really not me. I don't like the fact that I can get like my mind or wander and then I go, oh, I've made a mistake. I've got a frog. I want to be able to frog it and still be able to use it. And even though it's beautiful and soft, definitely not me and won't be bought by me again. I thank my subscriber for sending it to me because at least I've got to try it and I know what I think of it. I love the Snuggle Slug tutorial, really easy to follow. Ideal if you're starting out on amigurumi or you want an amigurumi no-so for a beginner. 
highly recommend that tutorial. Number two. Now this is a paid for pattern recommended by Yarn and Whimsy. And it does say in the pattern, it's a palm turtle. It will overbalance. And you can do other turtles. I didn't print the pattern off, um, mainly because I'm having printer issues, but there will be a link to the Etsy shop below for this. So I paid about $7.63 Australian for it. And I'm pretty sure, is it this one? No, it's the other one. This one is She's Crafty Crochet US on Etsy. And I made it with yarn from a discount store. This one. This was in my stash. I think they're like $3 a ball. It's like, a, I guess you'd call a chenille yarn. And I made it with the pink. It's got a white, white pink and white bit, ombre, I guess. And the mint green. So my palm turtle, here he is. So he will sit in your palm. He's really easy to follow the pattern. Lots of pictures. Whips up really quickly. Probably whipped him up in a night. You know, maybe three or four hours at the most. And he was finished. And yes, he's a palm turtle. Because he won't sit on a flat surface. His big head will overbalance him. I guess you could put a weight, something in the bottom to make him stay, but no, he is just to be cuddled. So that is the palm turtle. I'm not sure I'd make that one again. I like the idea that they can actually sit on a um, windowsill or a toy shelf, not just keep overbalancing because he's got a big head. But that is the palm turtle. Now, this particular yarn, it's easy enough to work with, but yet again, experimenting, you go to frog it and it strips some of the chenille out of the yarn. It is a economical yarn, so I don't expect top quality. Would I buy this again? Only if I could, if there's a color I can't get in anything else and I really want to make something, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy more, even if it was on sale. I have a feeling that's the last of it, which probably would make something else. Because at the end of the day, the palm turtle only took 98 grams. These plushy blankety yarns, they don't seem to take a lot of yarn. And yes, they do work up quickly, as people say. But that's my palm turtle. Amigurumi number two for this week. Sorry, plane going over. Number three, we have to turn the page. So in my yarn stock, I have a couple of walls of this particular yarn. It's Mo de Vera, which is a local brand yarn, blanky yarn. This is 100% polyester, 150 metres per ball, and they recommend an 8 millimetre crochet hook or knitting needles. This is silver. I have silver pink and blush they're the three colors i have in my stash and i decided because i wanted to make one for quite a while and yarn and whimsy did recommend a pattern i finally made it i made an axolotl he is so cute he turned out so well i love it i just used the blink uh, the blush and the hot pink or the pink no so. Now this is Axolotl by Toys Molina. I paid $9 Australian for the pattern. But last week, I don't know if she still got it going, she had 70% off all her patterns. And I did pick up a pattern for about $2.97. I can't remember which one I bought. I think it's a slot. But I would have trouble getting the yarn. Who knows? But that's my Axolotl. He is so cute. And I used um, a six millimeter crochet hook and 75 grams of yarn in total. Would I buy this yarn again? If I wanted to make something in a special color, it does frog. It's not, you can't do a magic circle with it. It just won't move that quickly, but it is nice and it is nice and soft. I may put my axolotl in my Etsy shop 
and see how it goes. But I definitely love this pattern and I definitely would make more of these axolotls maybe in the yarn that I have left. So that was number three. Number four, this particular yarn. I was wandering around the Spotlight, I guess you'd call it like a big box store of fabrics and yarns and homewares. And I very rarely, when I walk past the million baskets, which are big in the center of the floor, look. Um, usually because I, I like to know what the yarn is and it just says mixed fiber content. And some people can tell, but I'm not great at that. And often they don't have the colors I want and there's nothing that catches my eye. Well, this one particular day, right on top, something really caught my eye. Ta-da! I bought this. This is an acquisition. It is bright orange plushy yarn. Ta-da! It is so soft. There were four balls. It's 400 grams for $12. It was, if there'd been two packets, I would have bought them. I would have bought more if I could have found more in this particular yarn. I'll explain why. It is beautiful to work with. It is so different to the blanket yarn. It frogs amazing. You don't lose any of the fibers. And I just love it. I loved working with it. I love the feel of it. What did I make? Well, I made an Octo. My go-to tutorial demonstration by Rel at the Dabbling Hook. Look, I've pretty much got this memorized now. I don't really need to watch it. But if you haven't made an Octo, this is, and you're a beginner, an ideal tutorial for you. And it's a no-so. You may have to sew up the bottom a bit, but nothing much. Just close it up. It is so cute. And it is beautiful and soft. I wish I knew what this yarn was because I definitely would purchase this yarn again. Look, if you're an amigurumi maker that uses plushy yarn or blanket yarn, let me know in the comments below how you get this to sit a lot flatter. I've tried a few things and different tips, but I really can see it. I don't know if you can and I have to keep pushing it down. I might put him up for sale in my Etsy shop to see how he goes. But a lot of the channels I've watched go, oh, this sells out. This is great. This, I've never put plushies on my charity store, but I may in November just to see how they go and to add variety to my sales, I guess. Look, I'm thinking of trying some Premier Yarn Parfait Chunky because a lot of people use it and love it. And I'm starting to think maybe that's what this is. I wish I knew. I definitely would buy it again in bright colours. I love the bright colours. So easy to work with. The Ultra is so easy to make. If you want a beginner friendly amigurumi, ideal demonstration by Aurel at the Dabbling Hook. So that was it for me. This would be my number one favourite. It was $12 for 400 grams. These are normally... Um, $18 but you can get them during sales for $12 which is what I think I bought I keep knocking the camera sorry guys those three four and I will use them up because this year is all about getting my stash down but I keep buying yarn I'm a naughty girl anyway let me know in the comments below which was your favorite item I made I made them all in a week. Yes, they do whip up quickly. But I must confess, using this yarn, this blanket yarn, caused me some burning in the wrist here and I had to take breaks. It could be the fact that I made four in a week, but truly most of them had finished in a night, probably with the exception of the axolotl because of the burning, not the pattern. They are great patterns and it is a lot of fun to make the animals. But I'll be honest, for me, I like an amigurumi that has a bit of detail, like the axolotl, like the turtle. And the octo, I've made lots of these. I've made them in three weight, four weight. I've given them personalities. I've had punk octo. I've had um, puck 
Octo. I've had a Pirate Octo. And they do sell on my store because the kids love the fact that they've got character. I just made him plain and put a bit of a face on him because I really didn't know what else to do. But he is so cute. And there may be other Octos appearing in plushy yarn in my life. Guys, it's been a different week for me. It's been extremely cold here in Cairns or a Holloway's Beach where I live in North Queensland. Last night, believe it or not, it got down to 11 Celsius. Today, it's maximum at the moment, and it's probably around lunchtime, is 23 Celsius, which is like about, I don't know, 76 Fahrenheit maybe. And last night, I was freezing. I had on socks. I had on my um, duck feet I made over the socks, long pants, jumper. I had my, um, what would I call it, the hexi camper cardigan. I had blankets. I just felt the cold so bad. And today I've got long sleeves. And earlier I was wearing like a shawl around the house to keep me warm. The house is quite warm because, but it's designed to stay cool in summer. So when the temperature drops outside, boom. So yes, we're having a bit of a cold snap, but it is great crafting weather and the sun is shining. Even though it's cold for us, it is shining. Today is a public holiday being Friday. It is our, what we call our show day. Our big craft agricultural show is on and we get a public holiday day off for it, but I'm not going to it. I'm going to do some more crafting. I need to get back to those whips that I need to finish. Let me know if you have any tips on how to get that to stay flat. Let me know what's your favorite plushy yarn to use. And if you think you know what this yarn is, I'd really like to buy more of this and make other things. So from me, stay safe, stay well, and make sure you have one crafty day. Bye for now.